Welcome to my new kitchen. As you can see, I have held back on filling it with tiny objects. Just a few, just a few tiny objects here, here and there. Nothing too, um, nothing too cluttery. Nothing too cluttery. Don't worry, those aren't real candles. Everything is LED. I couldn't help but get uh, like a million of them when I moved in. It's so great because it's battery operated. I want to yell Expecto Patronus, which I know is not the right thing, but you can be like, Expecto Patronus, and they just go off. <laughs> oh my God. Anyhow, I have been trying to set it up so that I could actually film, but I've really only been here for like a month, which is pretty crazy. I will be putting together a little video um, touring my apartment just to show some of my favorite little items here and there. But that's not what we're here today. We are here today because we're going to be doing some Convenie hacks. That is totally mine, you can't see it. Yes, apparently I have a new roommate, um, hacker woman. She is pretty good at ordering things online and since she doesn't really like leaving the apartment, um, I can get her lots of things from the Convenie and she finds different ways to kind of like hack them together. Today, I am doing my very favoritest of all Convenie hacks. If you saw an EYK studio, I put up a video talking about how Convenies all have different things at them and everybody has like a favorite location. So when it comes to microwave pasta, Yes, you heard me correctly. Lawson's has my favorite. It is a carbonara. It comes with a Japanese egg on top, which has been like slightly cooked, but not completely. So it still has a bit of a runny yolk, a little bit of a cream sauce, chopped ham, and then fresh uh, pasta. Now that is the key to me. If you get the, the spaghetti I find in any of the convenience can be kind of like al dente, <laughs> very al dente but the fettuccine noodles are kind of fatter and steam a little bit better. So I wanna show you how to take this item and make it a little bit higher than what you get at the store. Hack. All right, got my little ruler cart. I don't know if you guys know what these are, but this cart is from Ikea and it's called like, Rock skog or like rock skog or I don't know, something like that. Rock Raw forest. And I've always, always wanted one. And I finally got one. It's magnetic. So I took all my remote controls and I put a magnet on the back of them. Like I taped it so that I can just stick them and not lose it. I just love it. Okay. So the ingredients you're going to need, pasta from the Convini. You're also gonna head on over to the freezer section and pick up a bag of cut spinach. Yes, you can buy frozen spinach at the Convini. If you don't wanna get it frozen, you can get it fresh. That's also absolutely no problem. There'll just be a little bit, one more of like a step uh, that you'll have to take to chop it up and everything. But otherwise, go for the fresh spinach if you got it. Also, pick up one of these steamed chicken breasts. This one is herb flavored, but they have a bunch of different flavors as well as the different sizes. And then for extra items, cracked black pepper, and I do love some red pepper flakes on anything. So that's it. First, I'm going to melt the spinach. You don't need tons and tons and tons of it. So you're gonna have like maybe a quarter cup of spinach. You can just eyeball it, honestly. It's gonna be really crinkly if I try to keep talking. Oh, I hate frozen bags that have Ziploc tops and you like can't line them up. And you're like, I will line you up. Yeah. Oh yeah, you guys, uh, my French, it opens this way but it also, it opens this way too. <laughs> it's the most amazing thing, is it not? Because kitchens in Japan are quite small. So I picked a fridge that I could open on both sides, depending on where I was standing when I cooked. It's amazing. Okay, we're gonna rinse off our spinach in order to kind of melt it down a bit. I, I like a little bit of spinach. I've also used frozen broccoli as well. It takes a little bit longer to cook the broccoli, but the whole idea is that we're gonna be cooking it in the container that you're supposed to microwave it in. So I don't wanna do like extra stuff on the side for this particular pasta. Okay, you just wanna make sure that it's warm to touch. If it's still really, really cold, then it's gonna make your entire dish cool down. I'm gonna give it a nice, healthy squeeze out. Oh yeah. Excellent. Spinach ball, think fast, everybody. And before I start cutting my chicken, I'm gonna open this up so everything is ready to go. With the plastic rack because it has instructions on it. Oh, spinach. Hello. So this says 1500 watts at one minute. So it's like nuke it or 500 watts at three minutes. When you microwave stuff from the convenience in Japan, always take off the plastic. The lids will often have, see this, like a little steam hole. So it allows the steam out. Open looking very nice, but it's gonna look even better. I mean, doesn't that look amazing already? It already looks good. Next up, we're gonna chop this chicken breast up. Got my cutting board. 
how meta I'm putting a cutting board on a cutting board. So it's not like a tough piece of chicken. It's actually really, really soft. So this chicken is already cooked, so it's not like I'm handling raw chicken or anything, but first time I bought this, I thought it was gonna be like a rubber piece of chicken. Cause you know how like pre-cooked chicken in, um, in the grocery stores tends to be awful, but this is not awful. It's actually really good. It's super duper soft. So I'm gonna scoop these up from the chunks that I made and I'm just gonna sprinkle them into the pasta. I like having them in little chunks because it's easier to pick up when you're swirling the pasta. The pasta, P-A-R-S-T-A, pasta. Grab the spinach, and I'm gonna put the spinach over the middle part in the egg, so I kind of want it to get steamy and wet. The spinach is gonna release a lot of water, and so it's gonna like extra moisten everything. What a great word, everyone. Moisten everything. Wait, let me show you. Okay, to the microwave. Grab your lid, pop it on top. And it says three minutes, but I'm gonna say three minutes and 30 seconds because you're kind of adding more stuff to it. You want it to microwave a little bit longer. Look guys, my microwave is hiding all the way under here. And when I use it as an oven, eh. Isn't that cool? And it came with that, not with the oven, but it came with the little roller, my bob. All right, here we go, rangy. Do, do, do. Well, why this is microwaving, uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram on King Kogi, you know that I've been working on a lot of different recipes, just trying to figure out, you know, what I can do for Martinez Minute Munchies. And I think I have really perfected my mushroom gyoza. If you're not into meat and you're a vegetarian or pescatarian or vegan, then you might want to learn how to make a mushroom broth so that you can make a lot of the Japanese recipes. So I'm also trying to work on different ways to do that. So I've been, been doing crazy stuff in the kitchen. All right, grab it out of the microwave. It's gonna be hot, hot, hot. And we want to mix up this egg. Ooh, look at that steam. Because after all, it is a carbonara. Grab your fork and just start mashing up that egg. And we're gonna give the whole thing a really good mix because the cheese has melted. So you really need to get up in there, like lift it up. Oh yeah. The liquid from the spinach I find kind of helps actually bring everything together. Look at that goodness. Black pepper. And because I like spicy food, I'm adding some red pepper flakes as well. C'est uh, voila. C'est bon, c'est voila. Why am I speaking French when this is supposed to be Italian? Buongiorno. It's just super creamy. The egg has like melted in there and coated everything. Oh my gosh, it's it's just, it's too good for a convenience store. It, I, it's concerning. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm. So nice. Chicken, super soft. I mean, I really feel like I could buy four of these, microwave them, put them on plates for my friends and serve them with wine. And they'll be like, oh my God, you're so good at cooking. And I'd be like, right? <laughs> Hmm, does this look like a microwave noodle to you? It doesn't make any sense to me, but other suggestions, convenience will sell things like ham, pancetta, bacon bits. Um, you can chop that up and add that in if you wanna have a bigger hammier version. They have different types of chicken breasts. They've gotten flavored ones. This one's the one with herb. They have one flavored with basil. They have smoked one. You can add little bits of cheese in here, like camembert, cab camembert cab cheese they sell in like little chunks. Mm, this is my favorite combo. Hey, can I share one of my favorite kombini hacks? Oh, Hacker Woman. Yeah, sure, why don't you show them one of your kombini hacks while, while I eat dinner, because um, I haven't eaten yet. So. Groovy. Did you miss me? It's Hacker Woman, and I'm here for a quick little hack snack. For when you try to hack the system, but you don't have a lot of time, but you still need some protein. First, head to your local conveni and look for the pizza man. This is an amazing little steam bun and inside of it, there's mozzarella cheese and tomato sauce. But that's it, sure, it's pretty freaking delicious. But I mean, at the same time, there's not a whole lot of nutritional value up in that thing. What's that? You're looking for a way to hack your pizza man? Well, I'm the man, woman, the woman, the pizza woman, pizza hacker woman for you. First try. 
First, buy Pizza Man. Second, pick up a pack of ham. This was literally 65 yen. That's like 70 cents. Then, grab a soft boiled egg. Now you gotta do this quickly, cause Pizza Man's getting cold are no good. And when you try to warm them up, they get super soggy. Take your piece of ham and warm it up, either on the stove top or in a microwave, for like 20, 15 seconds. Cut it up into little pieces. Then, like a pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern at Halloween time, cut the top off of your Pizza Man carefully. Add in your ham. Take a bite because you're freaking super hungry and you haven't eaten all day because you've been hacking the system. By hacking the system, do you mean you've been on Reddit all day? Shh, no, I haven't been. Listen, the Formula One forums are hot right now. There's all this stuff happening with Mercedes. You should see it. Max, he could take his hand and stick it through the back of the, never mind. Then before or after you took that bite, depending on how hungry you were, take your soft boiled egg, mash it up, cut it in half, whatever you want. Add it on in there, close it up, and you've got yourself a delicious pizza man protein sandwich bite. We got the ham, we got the egg, and it already has the cheese and the tomato sauce. It's pretty freaking good. Hack system. Also, I, I don't really want to leave the house in the morning tomorrow because I have a really super important hack uh, that I got to do. So would you be able to help me with some breakfast? I mean, it's cool if you don't want it, but maybe you can come up with a hack. I literally have carbonara in my hair. It's awful. Thank you, Hacker Woman, for that additional little snack hack. Uh, I quite like that, actually. The Pizza Mon are really good, but I do often feel like I'm eating nothingness. So somehow shoving an egg in there, adding a bit of ham, makes me feel like it is a well-balanced meal. I mean, I guess you could put in some spinach and lettuce and, yeah, I mean, like, let me know if you guys end up packing anything. What you do to actually make it a little bit uh, antsy up. Now to brush my teeth, because I feel like I have spinach everywhere. I want to say hack the system, but I feel like that's Hacker Woman's. That is totally mine. You can't see it. But keep keeping it cool in the King Kogi Kingdom. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know you guys. That's it now. Keep keeping it cool in the King Kogi Kingdom. <laughs>